Welcome back. We are Nikki, Kevin, Charlie the Border Terrier and in March this year we moved into our camper van Nelly. <laughs> this week we make it to the start or finish of the South West Coast Path. We enjoy the many trails around the picture postcard village of Porlock. We feel the seasons change. Big news here, big news. <laughs> Winter's over again. <laughs> we visit the smallest parish church in England. It's only about that big. Meet a man walking the entire coast of England and Wales. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm hoping, I'm being optimistic, I've sent all my winter cold stuff home. And then we pack our trunks and leave the gorgeous Porlock behind and head off for our next adventure. As promised at the end of last week's video, we set out the next day and ran from Nelly to Porlock Weir. Before heading inland, and climbing up through the woods, including tackling the famous Porlock Hill. We headed back to Nelly for some lovely food and plenty of rest before our adventures on the southwest coast path the next day. Good morning from Porlock. Big day for us today. Big day for Charlie. Big day. We're going to the start or finish, depending on how you look at it, of the southwest coast path in Minehead. Southwest Coast Path. The Southwest Coast Path is pretty special to us. That's somewhere in Wales over there. That's some islands down there. I can't see it on the camera. Uh, we do know the Southwest Coast Path is about 660 miles long, we'll put the uh, actual amount up there. Could be Did I read 64,000 steps or stairs? Mm, the amount of elevation is it's absolutely loads. We'll put the amount up. The southwest coast path starts or finishes, depending which way around you do it, in mine head back there, and it finishes or starts, or starts in pool. Endorse it. I failed O-level geography in 1983. 
How did you get on? I don't think I took long. You're in safe hands with us <laughs> navigating. <laughs> Another thing. The record for completing the southwest coast path non-stop is under 10 days. Um, and if you're into watching Van Lifers on YouTube, watch um, Philly and Keeley's series when they supported the guy who holds that record. Breaking news. Winter is over. The hoodie's coming off. Like. In news. Winter's back. <laughs> this is a sad day. Spring lasted 20 minutes. Big news. Winter's over again. We took a minor detour off the coast path to visit the peaceful hamlet of Bossington, which lies on the edge of the Holnicote estate. Distinctive thatched cottages and tall chimneys are a feature in the village. The tall chimneys were designed to keep sparks away from the thatched roofs. We couldn't resist dropping into Kitnor's for a well-earned coffee and cake. got back to Nelly and chilled out in the glorious sunshine. Charlie was very proud of his efforts and enjoyed his dinner and a chill out in the sunshine too. After a cuppa and a well-earned rest, I tackled Kevin's hair and beard. Next day, we caught the bus to Porlock Weir and set out along the coast path in search of the smallest parish church in England. to the Porlock Scenic Toll Road. The stunning 4.2 mile toll road, which dates from the 1840s, offers vehicles a more gentle alternative to the infamously steep one in four Porlock Hill. After taking a look at the toll house, we carried on towards Colbone Church.
maybe we can plug it for you. All right. So this guy is walking. <laughs> wow, coastal paths of England and Wales. And when did you start? Uh, 19th of February, two days after my 62nd, 52nd birth, 62nd birth. Yeah. Yeah. I've been walking in storms and everything. For, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm on the web now. Yeah. Quite yeah. a lot of rain, haven't we? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, I'm hoping, I'm being optimistic. I've sent all my winter cold stuff home today. So oh, wow. I'm, 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 where, I'm right now. Yeah, it's probably amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And you just sort of stop, are you booking places or are you just stopping as a Mainly, mainly while camping. Yeah. Uh, although I did stop in the hotel last night because yeah. I thought it was my penultimate night on the southwest coastal path. I thought I'd treat myself. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, brilliant. yeah. 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 I've done Pembroke me. Coastal Path before. Oh, done every yeah. national trail in Britain. Have you? Mm. Wow. Wow. Oh. That's brilliant. Fantastic. Brilliant. Good for you, mate. Well, we'll, we'll give you a plug on Instagram <laughs> and YouTube. Oh. The smallest church in England, believed to be. And they're right, because look. It's only about that big. Colbone Church is said to be the smallest parish church in England and is located on the southwest coast path. The church is recorded in the Doomsday Book of 1086. The church seats about 30 people. Services are still held here twice a month despite the lack of access by road. time from Porlock. Quite sad to be leaving. Bizarre because Saturday night we arrived here pouring rain. We got put on a hard standing pitch at the top of the park there. It seemed expensive, dirty, the guy seemed rude. We were tired. Um, but yeah on Sunday we moved down here. Ah, that be the sea and uh, we were going to stay a couple of days and we've been here five there you go um, it's a cracking spot to stay it is a bit like Steptoe's yard but it's also here anyway be rude not to have one more run before we go We did all of our van chores, packed our trunks and bid Paula on farewell.
now, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. Join us next week when we visit a bookshop in a phone box. Meet up with an old friend. Next to us is uh, Martin's van. It's called Martin's van. <laughs> Run the Sid Valley Ring half marathon and throw ourselves into the sea.